Hi there guys, this is Matt, obviously coming to you again. Um, thought I'd sh show you something which is kind of cool that not everyone knows, and it, it would be the difference between a prism and an anti-prism. Mm. <laughs> now, for those of you not sure what a prism is, it is a three-dimensional shape where perhaps the top would mirror the bottom. So it'd be like a cylinder or a tube. That, for example, is a pentagonal prism and you can see that the top is perfectly symmetrical with the bottom. They mirror each other. Now an anti-prism, we're still building um, a three-dimensional shape but this time the top and the bottom are slightly skewed meaning they don't 100% match up. As an example I've made one there, so I've introduced equilateral triangles into it as well. So it's still a prism, it's still three-dimensional, the top still kind of mirrors the bottom, but they're no longer completely symmetrical. One of them has twisted, and that is the difference between a prism and an anti-prism. And just to show you a practical use of this, I'm going to build a square anti-prism. Like that, I might use that. Like that, and I'll pop that on there, and that one on there, and say so, geez. Yeah, it's a keeper. Straight in the family album. You guys have a good day. Take care. Bye bye.